Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the video blog one more time, the Hoxton Trend. Guys, it's been a while since I've done my monthly um, designer collection videos, man. I think the last time I've done one was probably, it was probably November when I've done one. And as you know from before, I used to do them every month, tons of jackets coming in, but from November till January is really my busiest month, so I just didn't even have time to do that video, man. And I had so many jackets that came in, a lot, a lot of my jackets don't even make it to eBay. By the time I get them in, they're usually sold to people that I know or contacts that are looking for jackets even before they make it to the eBay. So the stuff on eBay really is the stuff that I'm just getting and they haven't even sold yet. Um, so yeah. Um, so I said, you know what, this month, better do the video because I even started getting a few requests. A couple of people asking me for um, when's the monthly designer collection video is coming out. So I've just done... Um, just about to do it now guys, just going to get it on, um, underway. But what I want to show you real quick is the Instagram man, because I really love it. So many of you guys sending me all your pictures and stuff, sending me all your different bits and bobs, and I, I love it man, I love seeing all of you guys different fits, you're sharing me different things that you've bought, you're sending me pictures of yourself, and I think it's so cool. I've basically just gone and dedicated my Instagram to all of you guys. All of these pictures, look, all these pictures here. They're all yours. These are all from you guys, man. Sending me all every single day. You lot send me pictures, man, and messages, and I, I, I just think it's wicked. So if you jump onto your Instagram, you can see everything on there, guys. Look at that. All of this still coming. This is all from you every single day. I get pictures from you, and I absolutely love it, man. So yeah, if you're not on Instagram yet, yeah, jump on Instagram. It's the Hoxton Trend. Um, and if you want to send your pics, if you want to share. Um, all the different things that you're buying and just send those through guys, I think it's so cool, okay? So that's that, let's crack on with this uh, monthly designer um, video. I've got um, feel like about 15, 16 jackets, something like that. What I'm going to do is be trying them on um, and showing you and doing a real quick um, guide for you guys. But yeah, I've got some cool pieces man, I've got um, Gaston, you see me running around in this. I've got this um, yellow Maya, I've got a Monster Nivre. Woolrich, this is just some of the jackets, I've got tons. So what I'm going to do guys, I'm going to get all this stuff on the bed, prep myself up and let's go through these one by one really, really, really quickly, okay? BAM! As you know, two seconds. So guys, this is it man, this is all the stuff that I got in this month. Um, a lot of the stuff actually has been sold, so I had a, a, quite a few other jackets that I would have loved to have shown you, but as soon as they touched down, they were sold already, so I couldn't show you as much as I would like. A lot of it was Stone Island stuff and Montclair as per usual, but um, this is the stuff that I've still got left. I haven't even marketed a lot of these, a lot of people don't even know about a lot of these ones, so um, I'm going to be putting some of these up on the eBay, and also I'm on Debop as well guys, so shout me on your Debop. I'm on there now, it's you guys that were showing me about Debop, I didn't even know about it, but um, yeah, I'm on there now as you can see, and I've only been on there for like a week or so, and already I've got about 200 people following me on there man, and um, yeah, it seems to be a pretty cool um, platform, haven't sold anything on there yet, but again, I don't know, I think Debop is really for peeps that are probably selling cheaper stuff, I don't know, because as you know, my my stuff is kind of expensive man, so people are probably thinking, damn man, Hoxton, your stuff's too much man, what's going on? But anyway, if you want to just jump on the old Debop and shout me on there, you can do, it's the Hoxton trend, as you can see right there guys, okay? So that's that man, yeah, Debop, um, yeah, good little platform, I might do a video on that actually, and uh, we can all look at it together. But anyway, let's look at the jackets that I've got in for now, okay? Okay guys, so one of the first bits that I've got in is this um, Stone Island jacket here and it's a bit like a Parker jacket, really really cool, it's a Masala Gamata jacket, such a nice piece this one, got this one in, can't remember what the retail price on this one, here it says 948 euros as you can see there guys, 948 euros originally, okay, um, such a cool piece this one guys, really really nice. Just look here, we can see what type of technology they're using. So it's a double dye formula, polyfurane coating, water resistant and wind resistant. So yeah, very special this jacket. Masala Gamata is one of the um, uh, materials that Stone Island have invented and created to come up for um, a lot of their items. Um, what's really good to see as well is we've got this old um, Stone Island, we've got this Certi logo there. And yesterday I mentioned that all the items came with the EAC. But as some of you corrected me, it's only the latest stuff that's coming with the EAC. So a lot of them do not have that on the badge, man. Because I think this is like 2014, so there's no EAC in there, as you can see. So it's the newer stuff that has that one, guys. Okay. Um, 
yeah, really, really nice. Got the inner um, vest on the inside there, which is detachable, and we've got the Dutch rope attachment, which attaches the jacket up for you. Such a nice piece, this one, man. Definitely going to be putting this up on the old eBay, but I will be doing an individual um, review on that one, okay? But yeah, you see me wearing all the stuff on the side, guys, so do check all of that stuff on the side. Um, got another one of those Montclair Republic jackets in. I was really upset because my, my old mate on the old YouTube, Jamie83, he wanted to buy a piece and I thought I had a size 4 but it turned out to be a size 5, so unfortunately it was the wrong size, so big apologies Jamie man, apologies about that bro, if I do get a 4 in I will shout you, I will let you know, okay? So yeah, Montclair Republic, you know I've done a video on this just the other day, this one here is in the grey and it's got the um, black upper part of the jacket and the rest of it is all grey with the line of wool. And of course, if we turn it around, you can see we've got the polyamide finish on the back as well. Really cool piece, that one. One of my favourites. Very, very cool. Um, here we've got another Stone Island jacket in, as you can see here. It's, um, sorry, Stone Island Gillet. It's the garment died down. 26GRXSQM. And another tongue twister from Stone Island, man. They love doing that. Got this one in. Very, very cool piece. Again, we can see all the different technologies that they're putting in there. Direct feather injection, extreme lightness, garment dyed, anti-drop finish. All that technology in this jacket. Such a nice piece, this one. Um, I can't remember the size of this one, actually. Size of this one looks like a size um, size L. So that's going to be like roughly about 42, 43 inch chest. Bam, let's move on. We've got coming up to the Montclair stuff now. So we've got this really nice Montclair jacket in. Actually, I've actually got one of these jackets for myself got one of these for myself I managed to source another one this one is a size 3 so I've got two of these um, I'm selling I'm keeping the other one because I absolutely love it it's a little bit different and what I like about this one obviously is the badge is a little bit different as you can see here such a nice piece um, got the line of wall finish going all the way around the side there right up into the hood as you can see there and also on the other side so cool as always got the Lampo zips there a lot of you guys are reporting now that the newer jackets are coming with the Vizlon zip. So, if that's true, it's a bit of a disappointment because I, I really like Lampo, man. Ever since I've started rocking Montclair, I've always known it to have Lampo zips. I even remember back in the day when Stone Island used to have Lampo zips. So, if they're moving on from that, it would be a bit of a shame. Um, just have a look and see what jacket this is called. Should have the label in there. And this one doesn't have, even have the label look. That's what I'm saying. Sometimes the jackets can be different sometimes. This one doesn't have the name. Unfortunately, I can't even remember what this one's called. Um, but anyway, we do have the 30 logo there, so you can check. And because this is the older um, 30 logo system, guys, you have to go to code.monclair.com and put this um, code in, and you will be able to verify your jacket and register it online, okay? That's that. Moving on to this really, really cool piece here. This is a Monclair Grenoble jacket. Um, especially designed for skiing this one, such a nice piece, obviously you've got the fur hood there, some of you are not feeling fur so you're going to be a bit upset about that, like my old boy Marcus, he's not feeling the fur and I totally get that. Um, with the Grenoble stuff they don't keep the stuff in the, they don't keep the labels in the pockets, they tend to keep it right at the bottom down here and if you just have a, just have a um, breeze through, you can see here it's got natural sheep on the inside, but this is actual sheep right there guys, very cool. Um, let's just see if they got the name on this one. Should do. Should have the name. Here we go. Oh, I, I sans. <laughs> I can't pronounce that one, man. Some of you can pronounce that. I haven't got a clue. Oi sans. Who knows? All we know is a cool jacket. Yeah, this one's really, really nice. Again, you're going to see me trying this on the side. You can see there we've got the uh, kind of elastic cuffs there. You can put your little hand, put your thumb in there so it sticks out, which is really cool. Liking that. Again, I will be doing an individual review on this one, guys. So I will be sharing this to you in more detail. This is just a speedy review for you guys, okay? That's that. Got the Woolwich jacket here. If you remember, I've done a review on Woolwich uh, at some point last year. And I really, really like Woolwich. I think they're such a cool brand. There's a lot of quality that goes into the items. So I was really chuffed to get this, this one in. Unfortunately, this one's a bit big for me. It's a double XL. So this is running at something like 44 to 46 inch chest. Got the real fur hood there. And the hood is detachable as well if you want to take that off. Again, I'll be doing a quick review on this one, guys, individually. So I will be running through all the specifications of that jacket in there. Okay? So the other thing is... Got this really cool Burberry piece in here, guys. 
Um, haven't done Burberry in a while, but I absolutely love Burberry. I think they're very cool. And usually when I get the Burberry, I usually always tend to go for the Burberry Brit stuff. I just really like the Burberry Brit. They seem to do like different type of stuff. So that's really cool. Got this one in. Really nice lightweight jacket for the spring summer. And they're using their EP zips there, which they use on most of the Burberry stuff. Okay. Again, very, very cool. Got the label there with all the information and washing instructions for the jacket. Again, I will be in, um, reviewing these individually, okay? So moving on to our last three jackets, man, and these ones are probably one of my favorites out of the bunch. Got this one here, some uh, Montclair Montgenivre. I actually picked this up from one of the subs that met me, Daniel Bethnal Green. He sold me a few jackets, and he was, get, um, he was actually letting this one go here. It's a, a Montclair Montgenivre, which is actually one of my favourite jackets, man. It's basically the same as the Montclair Meyer. It's a Montclair Meyer, but in wool. Exactly the same, no difference, apart from the finish is in wool rather than polyamide. I, do, I have had this in before in, I've had it in the grey, I've had it in a navy blue. The navy blue is actually my favourite colour, man, but yeah, got this one in and unfortunately it's too small for me. To size two, and the guy has kept this jacket in absolutely immaculate condition, man. No problems whatsoever. It is like new. And then to top it off, it's a 2014 jacket as well, uh, post 2014, because it's even got the hologram QR code there. So all you need to do is just scan that with the QR code and register your jacket online. Such a cool piece, this one. Size two, so nice. Jacket retails for something like I think the Mont Genebra is like 900 now, or 895. Every year the uh, Montclair pricing goes up, so this is probably somewhere between eight, eight and eight and nine fifty, something like that. I can't remember. I need to check the price. But such a cool piece, very very nice. Had this been, had this have been a size three, I would have kept it for myself. I had one for myself before, but I went and sold it like a joker. Anyway, moving on, man. One of my favourite jackets of my collection so far. It's um, this yellow uh, Montclair um, Himalaya. So nice, this one absolutely love it very very cool and I particularly love it because of the color man color is absolutely amazing so 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 cool this one um, I think this one retails for like 750 or something like that this one was brand new purchased it straight directly from matches fashion the only thing is they only had a size 2 left and I'm really a size 3 man so I'm a little bit upset about that but I've still been rocking it though but I might sell it soon because I probably need to just change the size but yeah, really chuffed to get this one in. Absolutely cool jacket, this one. Um, I will be doing an individual review on that one. And I've actually got this, um, I've actually got this jacket in a navy blue as well, or a gray. Let me show it to you real quick, two seconds. Bam, you lot are gonna have an absolute chuckle at me, man. Just went into my spare room where I keep all my jackets. And bam, I found more jackets that I came in this month. So let me show you all special these are all going to be special editions special guest appearances to the monthly designer collection so let's go through this real quick bam one of my favorites this one Montclair Chevalier jacket so cool this one it's a bit of an older piece it's actually like a 2014 jacket it's so cool really really nice really nice this one and the only thing I would say about this jacket is when you pick this jacket guys you need to be really really careful and the reason why I say that is Sometimes what happens is if you buy this used, you will get, um, if people don't look after this jacket properly, if they machine wash it and they don't dry clean it, what happens is you start to get holes developing around the side there. So yeah, if you're picking this jacket up used, you need to be careful man, because if the person hasn't looked after it properly, if they're tightening the pull cords, as I always show you, when you tighten the pull cords like that, that's fine, but when you get home, just remember to pull it back guys, okay? Because that's how you look after this jacket and ensure that you do not get holes starting to develop here. That's a big fault with this jacket, so you do have to pay attention to that. But if you keep it in a good condition, if you look after it pro properly, you will have no problems, okay? So that's that. This one's a size two. I've got it up on the old eBay. Lots of people have been making me offers on it, but the condition is like brand new, man. Seriously, absolutely no problems with this one. Got the 30 logo right there, so you can just put that number into the old 30 logo and you can check and register the jacket online, okay? That's that one. Got another jacket right here. Really, really cool piece, this one. This is a Montclair Chevalier. Now, the only problem with this, unfortunately, Bam, the, the labels come off. So the place where I sourced this from, they probably didn't wash it correctly. If you put this in the washing machine, what tends to happen is that um, the label shrinks, guys. 
that's why the, that's why people get this problem if you you have to follow the washing instructions and more time it will tell you to dry clean it if you put it in the washing machine this is going to shrink and it's going to pull away from the original stitching which is really annoying but it's not such a huge issue i've got a tailor that actually deals with all the moncler stuff if i take it to them what they'll do is they'll unstitch this bit here access the back and they will reattach it and then stitch this back up and you will never know the difference so that's not really a problem i might go go ahead and get that one fixed okay so that's that one guys that's that one this one is called a montclair um oh caesar i think it is now again look you see they're using different tags on here but this is the montclair caesar anyway very very cool piece and what i like about this it's got this kind of lana wall again all the way around up around the hood as you can see there okay so that's that let's move on quickly man bam this is what i originally wanted to show you is the himalaya again I'm gonna be doing a video on this but this one is basically the same as the yellow one the only difference with this one is that it's in like a black charcoal color such a nice piece this one absolutely love it amazing again this one's been very very well looked after even with the 30 logo there uh, the, so the hologram QR code, so we know that this is a very, very nice 2014, 2015 jacket. So cool. Again, this is a size 2, so it's just a little bit too small for me, so slightly upsetting on that front. But again, I'll be doing a um, Montclair Himalaya special, so I'll be showing you those two jackets in full detail. We've got this jacket here. This is actually a current season jacket. It's part of the 2015, 2016 collection. Bam, we can see right there, we've got the 30 logo right there guys okay this one is known as the bar bar barfet montclair barfet got this on the old d-bop got this on the old um ebay and i'm shotting this one as well this one is brand new guys hasn't even been worn that much again part of the current collection you will be seeing me wearing this on the side this jacket's really cool, Montclair Gaston. Bought this one directly from Montclair. Love this jacket, really, really nice color. Size three, so I actually got my size this time around. But yeah, this one is really nice, man. Really nice, lightweight jacket. Again, I'll be doing a review on all these jackets individually. You can see there, clearly, we've got the Montclair Gaston. Bam! And last but not least, I've got two of these, actually. I've got two of these ones in, guys. This is a Montclair Tib. I know a lot of you are getting scared because you're thinking the colour's a little bit bright but you know Old Hoxton likes the bright colours man so it doesn't really bother me too tough but yeah this is a really nice piece here very very warm with down insulation inside got the um, orange and the grey interior which is really cool this one's a size 2 so sitting at something like a mm, 40, 40 to 41 inch chest 40 to 42 roughly no what am I talking about size 2 this is a 38 to 40 guys 38 to 40 as you can see, condition's absolutely perfect, no problems at all. Badge should be ever slightly faded. Guys, if you're seeing badges without this Montclair here, or if you're seeing that it's too bright, or if you're seeing that there's black lines on the edges here, which are cut lines, beware guys, could be a fake, okay? If we look on the inside there, we should see the tag. Bam! Montclair tip, such a cool piece. So guys, that's it man, look at all the jackets I've got, look, like a mountain of jackets out here, absolutely crazy, but yeah, a lot of this stuff's going to go on the old eBay man, I've just been too lazy to put them up, but I'm going to be doing that real soon, okay, so that's that, guys, don't want this video to go on too long, I'm going to crack on with the rest of my day, I hope you enjoyed the video, stay tuned guys, tons more coming, okay, bam, have a good day, catch you in a bit, peace out.